Once you put the oysters up on the deck, they start going bad, right? No, no, not right away. How long before they? The last four days. Okay, at least four days. But you can't stay out two weeks with no, some not oysters. oysters. No, not with oysters. No. So, a couple three days, you got to get in back to the factory and unload your oysters, because mm -hmm. there's no freight boat. You can't all unload right. them. Uh, this is Biloxi. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going, going all the way down south, way down the peninsula, way down there. How long does that take you to get there? All day. Okay, one day run from. From Biloxi to Pasaluda. No, uh, what the Caliga Bay, Caliga okay. Bay. Okay. All, almost all day long. The time to get out there and find a reef to anchor. Okay. You eat, sleep, next morning go to work. Okay. And I loaded the oysters. I loaded the August in about three days. Okay. See, and I was put plenty of oysters on the boat. And Steve gave me some shit. Yeah. So I just kind of slapped him a little bit. Oh yeah. Now, oh, I Steve? just pushed him aside. Yeah. He said, I'm going to quit when I get in. I said, all right. Yeah. So I got another man in his place. Okay. So you go, you go all day. You anchor at night. Yeah. You get up the next morning. You work a couple, three days getting First oysters. First, you got to go find the oysters. You have to find them. But they can't run away. No, no. Because no. they're anchored to the yeah. bottom. So you scrape up the oysters with your dredges. You load up the boat in a couple, three days. And then you make another day run back to Biloxi. Yeah. And then you unload. It depends where you're at. If I'm down there, where I'm way down, it takes me all day. Yeah. But if I'm catching oysters in, inside the marsh, yeah. All this is marsh, oysters all over in there. Yeah. If I'm there, we'll stay two, two or three days. Yeah. Because they got more oysters there. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Hell of a living. Hard, hard living. Yeah. <coughs> hard living. My damn night and day. Night and day. But uh, at some point, uh, after 32 years running the boats, you then went to work for the fire station. Yeah. yeah. And why did you uh, decide to go to work for the fire department? Become a fireman? Well, I had to do something. So I went to Sud I went to VA. Mm -hmm. I, I talked to Miss Carr. She's mm -hmm. the lady. I said, I'm looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Either yard man or cook's helper. Because mm -hmm. that, that the uh -huh. that's the only thing you're qualified for, right? Yeah, because I know had no education. Right. So she said, Mr. Misko, we don't have that. Maybe, listen to this, maybe six months we might have something for you. Uh huh. I said, I can't wait that long. I got right by the door. She said, come back here. She says, uh, you're a 10 point man. I said, yes, ma'am. I says, I draw 30%. Oh, favor Monday, I'll get you a job Wednesday. Yeah. Before it was six months. Yeah. Until she found out I was disabled. Uh huh. Now why? Yeah. Why take your bread and butter from you, you and your kid and give it to me? Why? Yeah. It was, I'm sure it's just the process, Dad. No, uh, I said, no, ma'am, I don't want it. No, yeah. ma'am. I said, why should I take his 